You're probably most used to starting BricsCAD by double clicking on the icon and then from the welcome dialog box starting a new drawing, opening an existing drawing or another one. But there are ways to get BricsCAD to start with the drawing. You don't even have to select it. Let's see how. It was common knowledge back in the days of DOS and the Unix operating systems that many programs had additional options for starting and running them. With Mac, Windows, and Linux hiding much of what goes on behind the graphical user interface, command line options are no longer common. But they're still available, and you can, for example, have BricsCAD start with a specific file, whether it's drawings or other kinds of files. And these are specified on the command line. Here's a list of all the files that uh, BricsCAD can start up with, and so they're automatically loaded as soon as they start. A few ones that are, it might be of interest to you is uh, the DWG file, uh, which is a regular drawing, a menu file that would load a different menu, and the DSD file, which would turn BricsCAD into an automatic printing utility. The key to doing this is to uh, right-click the BricsCAD icon, and then from the shortcut menu, choose Properties. When the Properties dialog opens up, be sure to go to the shortcut tab and then the target field. Now if we look at the target field we can see that it's set up for the current version of BricsCAD and at the very end you see BricsCAD.exe. That's the actual program that BricsCAD is. Now if we want to start up with a specific drawing we add its name here. And so I've already selected the uh, file name I want to start with. I'm going to paste it here with Control V which will start up with BricsCAD. Now there's quotation marks there and that's because those have to be there if there's spaces anywhere in the uh, folder names or file names of which there are several. The program part of the target needs to be in its own quotation marks and then the file name with its path also in its own set of quotation marks. Click OK and now when I double click the icon BricsCAD loads and immediately shows the drawing that I specified. You can add more than just file names into the properties dialog box. You can also put in what are called switches. Uh, switches instruct BricsCAD to do a specific task. Often a file name is included. Here we have the list of switches that BricsCAD for Windows and Linux recognizes. It doesn't unfortunately work with Mac OS. Switches are used in exactly the same way as the file name in the properties dialog box. So to show an example, let's use the slash L switch, which suppresses the logo upon startup. Once again, right click the BricsCAD icon, choose properties, and then here we have the properties dialog box. So first I'm going to uh, get rid of that file that was being loaded. Apply and now I'm going to add the slash L. Now it can be a slash or a dash and it can be upper or lowercase L. We'll just go slash L because that's traditional. I'm going to click OK. So let's see what happens when I double click the icon. Notice that BricsCAD started without the splash screen.